Welcome to today's session on ADAS uh, model based design uh, related concepts. So before going into uh, the ADAS which is uh, advanced driver assistance system and model based uh, design uh, related concepts, we will have a complete overview on the basics of MATLAB which includes the MATLAB scripting as well as uh, Simulink uh, model development so which forms as the prerequisite and the base for the future topics and the development of projects and ADAS related applications so we'll start off with uh, the basics of uh, MATLAB scripting so today's class involves the following topics uh, which is the basics of syntax the variables commands and the long assignments so uh, the list of uh, topics uh, for the session today uh, would start off with about MATLAB. So for people who are completely new to MATLAB, they will have an overview of what MATLAB is, what kind of uh, simulation software it is, and what are the prerequisites to start your course on MATLAB. That would be followed by how a MATLAB user interface looks like uh, and the various basic settings of the MATLAB. Then the next technical topics that we would be covering here is like about the basic syntaxes that will be followed by the different MATLAB commands. So there are n number of commands that are in use. Uh, we will have a look at few of uh, those commands, basically what they are. That will be followed by uh, the MATLAB variables, their definitions, their a basic level of manipulations, uh, declaration of those variables in your command window. That would be followed by long assignment of variables. So about MATLAB, MATLAB uh, is expanded as Matrix Laboratory. This is a high level programming language tool which is widely used for computational analysis, control, signal processing and in communication fields. Also MATLAB is owned, developed and supported by MathWorks. So uh, MATLAB as it says here it's a high uh, level programming language. It is not merely a tool that is only for uh, programming purposes. That is you can also do simulation and uh, it has a very very uh, good and uh, understandable uh, user interface where you can develop real-time models and try to uh, test them validate them all at the computer level and also you can uh, go for auto code generation and others and uh, as far as MATLAB is concerned it is one of the most widely used tool in automotive embedded software development domain as far as the stage before automotive software development is basically the design and development of the algorithms and ideas which is all done on the MATLAB platform. The initial level of testing for uh, automotive uh, applications is also done at uh, the MATLAB uh, platform at different stages which we will have a detailed view of it in the forthcoming classes as well. So this is uh, the overview about MATLAB here and what are the prerequisites uh, to start MATLAB. Uh, any uh, end user who would like to get a hands-on experience on MATLAB uh, is is uh, required to have a basic idea on what differential equations are and about linear algebra. Basic programming skills with respect to C programming will be very useful. Basic computational concepts will also be very useful and the complete course content of ADAS that is advanced driver assistance system will be delivered using MATLAB and Simulink basically. So this is how the uh, MATLAB home screen looks like. So the screenshot here shows it is from MATLAB 2015 uh, and this thing as my mouse is pointed over here the current working directory is the folder which is the default folder that appears when you open the MATLAB. We can also set it to a user defined folder as per our requirements. So the current folder whatever that is there in this path the list of the different files and folders whichever is available in it is listed out in this column on the left hand side. So the center part of it is called as the command window which is the space for command execution basically if you want to uh, load any data into your workspace if you want to define any variable all of this can be if you wanted to open any specific application if you wanted to open a program open a model uh, etc anything and everything here can be done through this command window command window is basically the talking point between the developer and the tool it is through the command window that we basically execute all 
all our applications and other things so on the right hand side we have two things one is the workspace workspace is any variable that you load into your command window will automatically be loaded here for example you are declaring a variable in your command window with a specific uh, initial value that variable with its given variable name and its initial value will be loaded into my workspace in any other further place in any other program or in any other model in the future if that variable is to be used that value will automatically be taken from this workspace so this command window and workspace basically are two very very important components of a matlab uh, tool a basic understanding of how they are and how they look like is actually necessary and a uh, command history is uh, something which will have all the history and the list of commands whichever we type in matlab for example i am typing something like a clear screen or i type clean clc or clear or i declare something like a is equal to 5 b is equal to 4 etc etc whatever variables i declare or any other matlab functions that i try to matlab commands that i try to execute will all be listed out in my command history which usually remains at the bottom of the screen if you wish to change the layout of your uh, matlab home screen that is again possible with the layout block which is shown here there is this simulink library block which will give you the list of simulink library palettes which you will be using it in your model development but uh, in detail about simulink uh, library we will be discussing in the future chapters now i think we can have live view of this uh, matlab so this is my current working folder in desktop adas matlab m scripting we can change any other folder as well here if you wish to set any other folder as your working folder location i think that is again very much possible we can see here uh, i would like to go to documents i would like to go to matlab and if you wish to have matlab as your current working folder you can simply select that folder name you can paste it here that's it the folder gets set here if you wish to go back to the previous folder location you can click on this the immediate older folder here is appearing at the top which is basically desktop adas matlab m scripting i can go and i can select it over here which version of matlab that you are currently using is displayed at the top left corner in this case it is matlab 2019a that we are using and also as we had seen in the ppt the list of files whichever is present in my current folder is available on the left hand side here likewise this is the workspace currently we have not loaded any value into my workspace so uh, it is empty and blank and this is the command history the latest list of commands whichever we have executed here uh, is at this bottom right corner so this is as far as the matlab tool is concerned now the next set of topics that we are going to look at is the syntax basics so uh, these are some of the basic syntax or which we can type and use in our command window so these syntax are see these are there are n number of syntax and basic commands that one must take care of but these are some of the very very basic ones which we can actually uh, get reminded of so one is the semicolon which indicates that it is the end of statement like after any variable declaration or after any other command uh, you execute any inbuilt matlab command that you execute you can put a semicolon uh, semicolon which denotes that it is the end of the current statement then there is percentage which is again a very very important and a useful uh, syntax which means that anything that follows after this percentage denotes that it is a comment okay so that appears in light green color which we can see so anything that appears after this percentage will be a comment and any text Uh, that you type between 
two percentages stand as comment so anything after the second percentage in that case won't count as a comment usually or anything that you type from the next line after this percentage comment does not come under a comment that comes under any other MATLAB command and uh, the most important or the most frequently and commonly used MATLAB commands are the CLC clear all and the close all the CLC stands for clearing the command window clear all stands for clears all the variables whichever is loaded in the workspace and close all stands for close all currently open and running applications of MATLAB so uh, this is about how the MATLAB variables are declared so in MATLAB every variable is an array or a matrix okay and for example if a is equal to 2 is executed it returns a way a value of variable as 2 that is whenever you're going and typing in my command window as a is equal to 2 the return string would be that that variable a has been assigned to a value of 2 okay also matlab defines a variable and initializes the same with an expression that is say i am having b is equal to square root of 9 this will now return me a value of the square root of 9 is 3 so the b value whatever that is coming as an output would be as b is equal to 3 here in this screenshot it is shown as x is equal to 3 so this will be done likewise directly instead of assigning it to a sp uh, specific variable as b or x you can directly give this square root of 25 which means that in the workspace it will be stored inside an expression called a and s which means that it is not assigned to any specific variable but currently it is stored in my workspace as something like a local one it denotes that so we can have a quick hands-on session on how we declare the variables into my MATLAB so let's move to MATLAB so this is my command window all that we have seen here is a is equal to say 5 it returns me this value as 5 and likewise if you can see in my workspace it has been defined as this is a variable if you I have made located the pointer on top of a you can see here it is displaying as one cross one double a pop-up is coming so the one cross one double here denotes the dimension of it and double denotes the data type of this variable a which is all taken by default in MATLAB you can double click on your workspace command and see that it has been assigned to 5 as we have already seen in the presentation slide the variables are usually taken in the form of array or matrix that's why it is denoted as one cross one here and that's why it is loaded in the first row and the first column of this variable the value of 5 is now loaded uh, if you can remember that we have also seen about certain syntaxes uh, like semicolon and the others now let us see what happens when we try to use semicolon here uh, I'm now go for a declaration as B is equal to 6 okay and I'm putting a semicolon now when I give enter the return string as B is equal to 6 does not appear in my MATLAB so which means as operation of semicolon suggests that that is the end of statement the statement MATLAB considers that B is equal to 6 is the end of statement it loads the variable into my workspace but it does not pass a return string back in my command window so this is how it usually works so this is the function of semicolon if you want any while executing a program if you want any particular variable which and what you have assigned to be displayed on your command window you need not use semicolon for that particular statement else you can uh, finish the statement with a semicolon which and when while running it will load the values into the workspace and it takes so this is about the basic of assigning the variable values into my workspace and likewise we can also see about this square root x is equal to square root of 9 